All right, it's your boy Antonio Jones right here. I am a physics engineering major. Years ago, I decided to make a transition from the engineering into the teaching, and I haven't regretted it yet. Um, I am what you call a specialist. I can only teach in uh, all sciences. So um, with my engineering back traits and my ability to build, create, design, I have been, a, to, I feel I've become an extraordinary science teacher and that my kids uh, love and adore me, but that has nothing to do if you can't increase the um, test scores um, and things of that nature. So one of the things I came upon, I started using, didn't know if it worked or not, and, and I had to work on some little things with it, but I found out it works um, with all grade levels. The only thing about it, the contraption, is that it doesn't allow you to do more than five uh, letter words. So I'll show you for example. So as you can see, uh, this is called this is called the Cryptek, the Puzzle Pod. Now you can order the Puzzle Pod from um, Amazon, and it's from as you see, ages ten plus. Um, so the purpose of the Puzzle Pod is uh, um, somebody came up with the idea for. Somebody proposed to them in the most uh, unique way and said he gave me this Star Wars looking puzzle part, cryptic gadget filled with my favorite candy. Little did I know that the secret packed beneath the candy was my engagement ring. Was I surprised? Uh, Linda and I gave a puzzle part with a hundred dollar bill inside to our nephew for his high school graduation. We emailed him clues and made sure that he was able to crack the code. The night before graduation, this was a whole lot of fun for all of us. Um, so, as you can see, some people use it as like a scavenger hunt, be able to crack the code. Um, but I'm going to, I have what well, I have been using in my sixth grade um, science class, increasing these vocabulary words because that helps increase the test scores. So, as you can see, what I did, I generated a hundred words, a hundred science words. A hundred science words, right? And I don't have the sheet with me now, but a hundred science words on the sixth grade levels, right? And then what I did, I used the word, well, today I'm going to use the word um, A-N-I-O-N. It's an atom that has gained elect electron and a negative ion. So what I do is I... I, I I put the I either I either pass out the vocabulary listens to every kid so every kid can have a chance or I post it in my room. Now if you pass out to every kid, of course you're gonna get some of them on the floor, some people gonna keep it, some people are not gonna keep it. So it's gonna be up to you as a teacher. I'm um, trying to get that. Then what I did, I went to Walmart and I actually got the the tickets. The um uh, what do you call it? The entertainment tickets. You know, the tickets. So I only pick uh, three kids per class, give them a ticket. Um, of course, you're going to have the cool kids at first that are going to be like, oh, you can't, I can buy my own candy, I can buy my own candy. But sooner or later, that job, Jolly Ranchers, is going to be so tempted to them, right? Sitting on your desk, right? So I give them the ticket, three of them the tickets. Of course, later on, that's when you're going to get a, some of them going to um, you kind of turn them against each other. As they see, I give them three of them a ticket. They're going to be like, well, why can I get one? I was good. I did all my work. And they're trying to figure out how they're able to get the tickets. Well, I'm giving the tickets of three. I'm just randomly giving the people. And I'm trying to give people the chance. That I'm trying to really target the people that have low um, scores in my class. And of course, you're going to have the ones that always do what they need to do. They're going to be the main ones. Ask for tickets, ask for tickets. Now you can increase the distribution of tickets um, probably the end of the week. But you got to understand the more people got tickets, the more chance, the higher the chance for them to win all the candy. So you want to keep paying $14 or $10 a week. So that's why after the Jolly Ranchers, I'll start doing what you call the dollar, dollar sneaker bars. With it, not the sneaker bar, well, the sneaker bars and the um, Kit Kat bars. You can pay a dollar, you get like 12 of them. 
I can put five in there. That's enough to entice them. But what you're also going to find out is that they're not going to realize at um, right away that on that 100-word list of vocabulary words that there are a lot of vocabulary words that are more than five words. It's probably taking them two or three days. Then it's going to take them a while to try to unite against you as a teacher to uh, to get the Jolly Ranchers. You know, it's going to take them time. You know, it's going to take them time to realize that, hey, uh, let's, um, you pick a word and I pick a word. At least we know that those words are scratched off the list for the whole week. At least we know we have uh, uh, 60 more words to go. And if you pick a word and I pick a word, you know, but how you defeat that is that you basically keep changing up the people that you give uh, tickets to. Now, doing so, so it don't become the distraction in class. During lunch, I allow them to do it. So during lunch, since sixth graders be waiting in the cafeteria with them, during lunch you have, if you do three, you have maybe 15 kids that are going to come up to you with those tickets and going to take a, take a crack at the cold. Now, all of those 15 kids, some are going to use the same word. So if one kid, say they use the word grape, it's going to be five other kids trying to use the word grape because they have not yet try to unite with each other yet, you know, to, to crack in the cold on uh, um, limit, uh, eliminating the amount of vocabulary words used. Um, and so they're going to give me the ticket because I don't want multiple tickets around the same tickets. I'm going to get the ticket back from them, put it in my pocket, give them a chance to crack the code. If it doesn't open, then maybe tomorrow they get to try again if they get a ticket or a different kid. It's exciting. It keeps the learning going. It, it, it helps with critical thinking. It helps with... Um, Increase your vocabulary word because when they bring that ticket to me, they must recite that vocabulary word definition before they get a try. So like that vocabulary word I just use, um, like if I use core and in on core or any five letter vocabulary word, they will have to tell me the definition for it. And they come to say, oh, Mr. Jones, I want to, here's my ticket. Okay. What word are you going to use? I'm going to use this word. Okay. Tell me the definition of it. And they tell me the definition of it and then they get a crack. So it works. So like Aeon, like Aeon, as you can see here, I'll show you now that they can't open it. So you're looking for this piece right here and it has to line up with the word. So if I spell Aeon, I'll spell, I can't turn and hold this phone. So as you can see, I spelled the word uh, A-N, see right here, uh, A-N-I-O-N, and they're, they're going to have to turn it. Now, when they're trying to find a word, you got to make sure if that person has the right word. Now, if you think that person has the right word, you already know they got the right word, you got to leave this on the desk because what happens is if you don't leave it on the table, the whole thing will uh, fall apart. So as you see, they got the right word, and it unlocks. And the bottom one screws out. And they just get all the Jolly Ranchers. Uh, if they don't have the right word, you can let them pick it up and try to turn. Because it's easier to turn when it's in your hand. But at the same time, you're dealing with kids. They're going to drop it. They might break it, plastic. So it's best to leave it on the table and let them try it. And if it doesn't unlock, then they know they had the wrong word. And then you'll tell them, hey, that's the wrong word. That's why it's not unlocking. Uh, I think this would be fun for the kids. It comes with a manual. So the puzzle part, all right, it tells you the manual here, and then two, see, it comes with a manual. Um, also, the beauty of this, um, <laughs> it's not on YouTube, so nobody has made YouTube videos yet on this here. I think I've seen one video, but it didn't really go into it. So it's called the puzzle part. Um, uh, you could do a, I could do a scavenger hunt with them, but you don't have that time it will distract the class too much. That's what I'm, um, I'm saying. Now, you might can do it if you have uh, five minutes left in the class, like everybody can finish early and you give maybe, you maybe give um, five people a crack at it. Um, it depends, but at that age, it gets to be a distraction 
or more than anything else. So you just be like, hey, nobody can have a crack at it until lunch. So the whole time they're looking at it, trying to come up what's the best vocabulary word and thinking about it, but you let them do the lunch. Now, it works on all levels. It works for sixth grade. It works for seventh grade. It works for eighth grade. It works for high school. You just got to change the content that you put in there. And it depends on what you can afford. So, of course, you know, candy is candy to a sixth, seventh, eighth grade. It doesn't matter. When they get in high grade, high, high, high school, you can put different things in. Like, you might put a McDonald's gift certificate, Pizza Hut gift certificate. And like I say, the downfall is that the words are no more than five words. And I wish it was a larger size where you can do um, more than five letter words where you can work on harder vocabulary words and help them advance to uh, the next level. Um, you can do it with your own kids. You can put money in there, things like that, allow them to uh, learn at home. You know, it's a scavenger hunt. Uh, the temptation of looking at it uh, will entice them. Um, eventually, they will give a shot at it. Of course, you're going to have the ones that just, you know, let me, let me mix this cold up. Of course, you're going to have the ones that, that are going to be doing all this right here and trying to pull in things like that. So you got to be careful and watch it. Make sure they don't break it. Uh, I think the price of this was like 14 something. It might have a larger size. So I'm going to post this and I'll, other, I'll post videos of the kids using it, trying to get 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 the um, candy out of it and come with the character away. Central Organization of Police Specialists Fighting Crime in a Future Time Protecting Empire City from Big Boss and his gang of crooks